Hello. Oh, man. It would help if I actually did this correctly. Why can't I know? Oh, there's my starting soon. You would think it was like, uh, oh, I gotta hurry up and mute this, don't I? You think it was um, a Sunday early morning or something, right? Hey guys, uh, welcome to early Sunday morning stream, 9 a.m. my time, Eastern Standard Time. I have only had one cup of coffee, so hey, girly bot, how are you? And I know I had to refresh my screen. I know I saw Usa, so Usa's here. Hi. And I thought I saw somebody else talk in chat. If you, if I missed anyone, say hi again because I had to refresh the screen to show everything. So I have some lovely cream of Earl Grey tea that, fantastic, I'm glad you're good, that I am going to be drinking down and enjoying the caffeine while I'm quilting. Um, so yeah, today's quilting binding day. Oh, Frosty the Snow Girl. Hi, how are you? I thought I saw somebody else. Yeah, I know, I know. So you got your package, you messaged me? I'm glad you like it. Ah, yes. Cream of Earl Grey. Delicious. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I need. I know. I know, right? I'm like, every time I do one of these early morning streams, I'm like, what am I doing to myself? And I actually wanted to sleep in. Hey, nerds and crafts. Thanks for the host. I wanted to um, actually try to sleep in a little bit because I get up at 7. The dogs wake me up at 7 every morning. And I'm like, okay, maybe I can sleep till eight and then rush to wake up to do the stream. That way I'm like more awake. And no. So the dogs, I yelled at the dogs. The dogs let me back to sleep. But then the cat jumped up and landed on my head and started meowing at me. He wasn't hungry. He just thought I was awake and wanted to play. Uh, you know, it, it's a Sunday. You don't have to get out of bed if you don't want to get out of bed. That's perfectly fine. So today's stream is quilting and binding. Um, so you notice I've got a different machine here. This is my standard home machine that I, I used to use for everything. But since I started sewing even more and teaching classes, I get the cheap machines to do all of my piecing on. That way, if I break them, I break them. Because this is a an, an more expensive machine. Uh, so I really want to make sure that I take care of it. Yeah, we have to take care of things, right? Oh, you know what? Here, let me... Pull that out and put the new bobbin in. Put the bob. There we go. I've got that. I was going to do the hokey pokey, but I couldn't think of. Yeah, brain is not working yet this morning. You got nothing done yesterday because you had a band. Oh, band. How did the band competition go? Is it, um, was it marching band? Please tell me it was marching band. I love marching band. I was in the, I was in the marching band. I, uh, I played trumpet and then I started. A, um, oh, hey, Chris Shadu just went live. Um, and then I started the color guard for my school because they had never had a, true, a real color guard before. So then I went as color guard for two years. Um, so yeah, so quilting day. First thing, so I'm gonna walk you through all of the steps. Oh, I just realized I don't have my gloves over here. My gloves are all the way across the room. They're all the way over there. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna have to get up and go get my quilting gloves because that is the second chair top band, not marching season. Oh, okay, it was concert tryouts, awesome. Yeah, what instrument do you play? Um, yeah, because I'm gonna walk you through all the steps and gloves is one of the steps. All right, let me go get them. So I'm gonna walk in front of the cameras. That one's may move because it's kind of tight and over here. Gloves. There, hi gloves. Is there anything else over here I need before I go back? No, I think I am good. Okay, so whenever you free motion quilt, first thing you want to do is make sure you have all of your things that you need so you're not scrambling. So I have pre-wound bobbins. I have my gloves. I've got my thread because I'm doing everything in the same color thread today. I've got my needles. Ooh, clarinet. Nice. Do you, um, cause you said you tried out with clarinet. Do you play, um, sax and, and any other reed instruments or do you play something else? See, I know my, I know my music. 
I can't sing worth diddly, but I know band and I know my music. Uh, oh, you'll also see my planner down there. I decided it's getting a little bit too much with giveaways. So I need to be more organized and try to make sure that I've got everything. So I, I actually bought this planner a few months ago. It's the Panda Planner. It is, it's a motivational planner as well as a daily regular planner. So, hey, first shy night, first sky night. How are you? Thank you so much for the bits. No, hi, fantastic. Things are popping in. Uh, yeah, so I've got the planner there. So yeah, materials, doing all the things, all the things. I've got, I haven't seen you for a bit. So I've got pre wound bobbins. I've got this, I've got this. So my machine here is the, um, is a machine you can't really get anymore. It was the quilt club. It's now the Laura Ashley edition. So of the Anovis for brother. Um, any machine that you can drop your presser feet, you can do quilting. So that's, and you really can do quilting on, on machines. You can't drop the presser feet as long as you've got a quilting foot and you move forward with it. Um, you also play piano, guitar, and alto. Nice. Alto is alto sax, saxophone, for those people that don't know music terminology. Uh, yeah, so I've got all this. Oh, this is my, people always ask about this. This is my So Steady extended table. I love it so much because it has so much space. And you'll notice as I'm quilting, the quilts will probably fall off of here a little bit. But because this table's so big, it actually gives me a really great space to work with here. And I really, really like it. Um, oh, that, oh, that's true. I'm sorry, Euphorium and hi, Euphonium. And hi, how are you? Yo, you're right. Alto clarinet. <laughs> See, that's why, yeah. I'm confusing myself too. Uh, I also picked out the binding I'm using with each of the quilts. So I've got that all ready to go. So I know I'm going to get everything quilted. If I have time, I will start getting it bound. Uh, whatever I don't finish today, I will finish on tomorrow's stream. So you guys can pop in and see that tomorrow. Um, yeah, so yeah, let me get going. First, I need to make sure I've got the right needle. This is an 8012. So 8012 needle. There's a 9014. There is, I've got so many needles in here. That's the 9014. I think I've got to go in this book. Yeah, no, seriously, it is. Hey, Natalie Babex, how are you? 7511. See, I've got a whole bunch of boxes and boxes of needles. Hey, there's my 8012. Fantastic. Okay, so this thread. Now, it's super important that you use the right needle for the right thread. If you do not know what needle to use, I dropped it. No, it's right there. Ah, got it. So if you're not sure what needle you want to use or you need to use, check the thread manufacturer's website because a lot of times they will list it on there. Some of the threads will list it right on the needle. It's will list it right onto the um, thread itself. There we go. <sighs> Hate. Oh man, is my thread thing broken? It wasn't broken before I went and got it fixed. The machine fixed. Stupid thing. Yep, I gotta thread it myself. <sighs> Although, Natalie Babax, remember, it's a PG channel, by the way. Um, challenge the streamer Japan to go... Where's... What's Suicide Forest? That's... I have no clue what that is, actually. Is that part of a game or something? He's gonna stream from the forest today. That's... Aw okay. Those darn... I know, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, Frosty. You get out of bed. You can go back to sleep. That is awesome. Oh, come on. I gotta trim it. Um, I know, these are so, they suck. Stupid things. Stupid, stupid things. So, with free motion quilting, it's nothing to be afraid of. It's super easy. 
Whenever I do new stitches, uh, yeah, go to sleep. Uh, the myth is whoever goes to the suicide force never comes back. But where is the suicide? What is the suicide force? Is it like part of a? Is it like a physical forest that you guys, or is it a game thing, or is it? It surrounds Mount Fiji. But what game? It's in Japan. Oh, oh, so, oh, so it's like it's not a game. So it's a physical place in Japan. So like, it's the streamer. So the streamer's in Japan, and then you. Oh, okay. See, I'm thinking gaming, right? I'm thinking like a, a forest in a game. Okay. See, again, it's 9 a.m. for me. I'm super tired. Okay, I got Ariel. Fantastic. Okay, IRL. I got. I understand now. Fantastic. Is he? So is he gonna stream from it? Is he gonna actually? Stream from this forest as he's doing it. You want to see ghosts? Nice. That's fantastic. Um, okay, gloves. I've got everything threaded. I've got needle. I've got all that stuff. That is lovely. Okay. There we go. Now, next up. Yeah. Well, why do you wish it was nine? Why do you want it to be later? Um, I'm dropping my presser feet and you can't see a lot of this because it's the digital screen so it'll bounce off of the camera. And I have a stitch pre-programmed into my uh, machine that is that will give me the right stitch that I want with the right um, stuff. And I just changed the bobbin. Thank you so much, Usa. So yeah, so I've got all that stuff. All right, so all the mumbo jumbo. So giveaways. I am still going to be doing giveaways. I'll be doing other things. Oh, I gotta turn music on. Um, according to the local folklore, the force by demons. Oh, that sounds interesting. If you want, Natalie, if you want to link the, if you want to do a shout out for the streamer, it's um, Command S O. Um, that's awesome. That way we can see it. You must go now. Before, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I know, right? So, cats. Cat woke me up at 7 a.m. Let me do music. Got it. So, I was doing, oh yeah, this stuff. So, because I am quilting, I am, it's going to be hard for me after, once I start, start quilting, I will pop over now and then. Yeah, you can promote other streamers. Why not? That's how my channel is. I don't care. So my channel is all about love and community and helping each other. So no, 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 that's, it's rules in some streamers. Mine is if you ever want to promote yourself, if you, if you stream, if you have an Etsy store, if you want to share links, if you want to promote other streamers, if you want to, if you want to shout things out, just say why you're sh uh, having a reason, right? There's a reason to shout this person out. <laughs> Shouting me out. <laughs> love you, Musa. Um, no, I don't, I have no problems with that at all. Like, seriously, it's, I, I don't have those rules. It's perfectly fine. I'm serious. So it's, so with my quilting days, it's going to be hard for me to keep up on chat. So if there is something that you want to make sure that I read, please make sure you, you use my name, you at me. Oh yeah, then go ahead and um, promote Gabby. Yeah, do a shout out for Nerds and Crafts. That's fine. Yay, there it is. Fantastic. Yep, and that's fine because we love her. She's gonna help me take over the world. <laughs> um, yeah, so if there, so from when I'm actually quilting, if you wanna make sure that I see the thing, hey, Frosted a Snow Girl, just like that, make sure you, you at me. You just put the quiltoni or at me or something. Just make sure you got my name in there and then I will be scanning for black boxes whenever I'm, I'm doing the quilting. So first up, um, let's, you know what? Let's get the hard one out of the way. Let's do the horror quilt. So the horror quilt is a commission that I did before I left for my six week tour. And I had not finished it because this is going to be a baby gift. And we, I embroidered it with the name and the date of the kid. So yeah, so I've got Michael, whoops. And there go the, the treats. 
Oh, yeah, now it's upside down. All right, whatever. I'll show it to you guys after I quilt it. Get the treats up there. Oh, you know what? I should pull out. I should pull out the other treats. Just in case things happen. Yeah, no, it's actually, we've been talking about that, Natalie. It's, um, I've been talking about that with um, Crafts and with Sandrasa about doing crossover guest stream stuff where we work on either the same thing or like, around the same stuff. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Yeah, we've been talking about it. It's just a matter of getting it done, right? Okay. So I've got everything all situated. I have it all set up. Whenever you are free motion quilting, your shoulders are super important. If you were watching me teach Maggie how to sew the other day, I was talking about having the shoulders up. And as long as the, shul the um, shoulders, as long as your elbows are up, your shoulders are up and you're sitting up nicely. And, oh, updates suck. And you've got, um, yeah, no, this is a double size quilt. So it is a commission for double. And it's the largest one I'm doing today. So I'm like, let me just do it first and get it out of the way. Um, always make sure that everything is set up. It's clear. If you notice, I've cleared all this area here. That because then your quilt may knock things off. And I just realized I didn't move my Apple TV remote. So let me move that. Great. Now I think I'm ready. All right. So with my free motion quilting, I'm first... Do a stitch all the way around, a basting stitch. And that does two things. The first things it does is I'm double checking my tension just to make sure that everything is good for the tension. There we go, yep. And I have a horrible, horrible problem of this this right here so as i'm sewing oh thank you very much for the host natalie i appreciate it so this area right here this fabric i have a horrible habit of as i'm sewing having this fold back like this and getting caught underneath and then i have to cut it all out and redo the area which is a pain for free motion quilting so oh you okay yeah you may have to refresh i had to do that this morning so that's why the first thing I do before I start quilting is I go around the whole thing with a basting stitch. So it's, there's two reasons. Reason one, I'm holding the fabric in place so I do not catch it along the back. Reason two is I'm checking for my tension just to make sure that my tension is good. Whenever you are, you know what, I'm going to move this up out of the way. Eh, I just have to make sure I don't knock it off. Um, whenever you are quilting, you always want to make sure you are doing the path of least resistance. So you're using, you're doing an area where you can shift things and move things. So you notice I'm constantly moving this quilt around. Yeah, now you see that Maleficent quilt that I'm making. This is only a double size. Imagine doing this with a king size quilt. Yeah, that's gonna take me an entire stream just to quilt that thing. And I may have to move my um, this computer completely off the table for that because I need all the room I can.
Can you do it at your quilt club? Um, probably no. You mean my guild? Well, a lot of times for the guild, um, it is, it's just getting people getting together and you bring your own machines and things if we have a sewing day. Sewing days are only twice a year. So the quilt guild is basically just listening to speeches of other people, um, having people talk and do stuff. Um, Christmas, we do crafts. We do crafting stuff. Oh, no. Okay, I need to go... Sorry, I'm looking at my tension. My tension's a bit wonky. So no, it's not a matter of that. Now the, um, oh, that's why it was so tight, okay. But the family center where I pin all my quilts, that's just space. So no, I can't bring and quilt things there. Um, this is the only space that I have to quilt. Now I can rent a long arm machine, but that's going to cost money, which would drive the cost of the quilts up. So it's just a matter of getting it done with the space that I have. Yeah, unfortunately the only way around ads on Twitch is to either sub or link a Amazon account for Amazon Prime. Tension's better. All right. And this is why, actually, whenever the um, the bobbin emote came about, was for free motion quilting days. Because as you notice, I will just keep on going and not paying attention. If I run out of thread in the middle of the quilt, it is super, super annoying. So as I'm into the quilt, if I get a notice every few minutes, it reminds me to go through and just do this and to check my bobbin to see how much thread is in there. Yep, just like Usa just did. So, yep, I've got that in there. Do it one more. There we go. Now that's perfect. See, in all the stitches that you see me do here, you are not going to see on the quilt at all because the binding is going to hide it. Thanks for the host, Hyper Zen Girl. That's one of the reasons I also put the um, all those emotes because then it flashes on the screen and it has me take a look at it. Yeah, and like I said, I should be able to get through all of the quilting. Binding, we'll see. I know I'm not gonna get through all the binding, but we'll see if I can get to binding one. And then in the morning, I'll also get all of my uh, streams from the past week up on YouTube. Okay, all right, so. I've done the basting stitch all the way around. Now I get to actually do the quilting. Now, whenever you are free motion quilting, it's all about flow and speed. As 
So your speed, how fast you go, will determine what your stitches look like. If your stitches are going to be long, if they're going to be short. There's no setting a stitch length for free motion quilting because you control it. So because this is the pace that I started with, this is the pace that I have to do for the entire quilt. I am doing what's called a meandering, where all I'm doing is I have no pattern in mind. I'm just moving all along the quilt. Now I'm gonna pause here because, oh yeah, and I that's a new um, timer thing for Nightbot. So if you want, if you are a sub or if you've decided to take pixels because of giveaways, you can check your pixels with that link right there. <gasps> Treats! Now if I get those in the middle of free motion quilting, I'll give it to them whenever I get back, whenever I take a stop, when I stop. <gasps> oh, what happened to the camera? There it is. Let's move it up just a little bit. There we go. Alfred treats. No, why are you afraid, Marley? Come here. You wanna get treats? There you go. Good job. <gasps> treats again. Another treats. There you go. Are you happy? Yes, I know. Say thanks, Frosty. <gasps> Did you just get a whole bunch of treats, Frosty? All right, come here. Here's another one. I know, you guys are good. I know, say thank you. Thanks for the bits. Yay! Fantastic. I yeah, they're super happy puppies. Oh, the cat needs water. I think they dumped it last night somehow. Um, no, I'm good. Thanks, Usa. <sighs> Marley, leave the cat alone. I know you're very good. So it whenever you start and stop your free motion quilting, you can just shift everything. And the, whenever you start back up again, you just have to make sure you start up at the same pace that you've been doing. And of course the dog goes away. Oh, is that why you have ads? Okay, yes. And the cat's eating. Ads because you were getting bits. I got it, I got it. Now, I said I don't have any pattern in mind as I'm going through and doing this, but I have learned the hard way, whenever you are quilting quilts that have faces on them, you really wanna avoid certain areas of the face. So you don't wanna sew through eyes or a mouth, or else it could make give them weird, hey Doug. No, I'm good. Um, it could, give them weird expressions um you could give them oh yeah mustaches when you don't mean to so i have learned just completely avoid those areas and you are good to go if anyone joined Junie's stream last night. Yeah, I was drinking. I got a, I got a little PG-13 in there for a while. We were, we were philosophizing and talking about all sorts of cool things. And I was also being productive. And I packaged, I finished all the dice bags that I started making on the stream yesterday. I got them all strung, trimmed, and I got all of the packages addressed and ready to go to the post office. With the exception of Jesse, I messaged him because I need one more piece of information. 
and I still have not heard from one person. I've got to look at my actual list to see what the name was again. My pedal moved. But if you are waiting for a dice bag and you saw me pick out your fabric on the stream yesterday or I've already talked to you that, okay, cool, I know what kind of dice bag you want. Your package is ready to go and it will be mailed tomorrow. If you want scraps, your, mail, your package will be mailed tomorrow. And for anyone that's just popping in, I am doing free motion quilting and binding day today. So I won't be able to look at chat as much as I normally do. So if there is something that you address to me or that you want me to see, please make sure you put my name in there so that it pops up on my screen, highlighted so I know you're talking to me or else I may miss it. Now we are still doing giveaways. We are still doing bits for bites. But the bits for bites, if I am in the middle of quilting, I will wait until I reach a stopping point. For giveaways, I will keep an eye on it every time I stop. Now the thread that I decided to use for all my quilts today is a light gray, almost silver colored thread. That is my go-to thread for free motion quilting a lot because I just like the way that it looks. It's not white, it's not dark, so it blends in nicely with a lot of things. Yes, it was so reminded me about the cards. Now, I don't think I have enough in my bobbin to go all the way across again. So what I'm gonna do is kind of do a little bit of free motion quilting. Come on down a bit, and then I'm gonna replace it before I actually go across. Now, this area right here, you can kind of see it a little bit. There was a piece of thread that was sitting there that I caught with my free motion quilting. That's not a problem. If that happens, just pull it out. Because you're not permanently putting it into the quilt. You just caught it temporarily. And it's fine. Yeah, no, if you, if you do treats, if you do 100, that's only one treat. So it's per cheer. Come on, Marley, slay, treats. Although, you know what? I am sorry we are going to have no cat cam today because I can't keep clicking back and forth while I'm quilting. So I'm just gonna leave it on the dog bed. So it'll be empty at some points. All right, here's your first one, guys. Come here, Alfred. Alfred, over here. Alfred, over here. All right, there's slay, Alfred. And Marley. So here's a second. There you go. And a third. See, and I knew four was coming. Here you go. And there is another one. Good morning, Digadilly. How are you today? Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Hey, 
<laughs> yeah, and that's probably that's what I do with all the bits, right? Is I get I go buy more treats. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, let's fix that again. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and change my bobbin because I don't want it to run out in the middle of my quilt. So I do still have some on there, but I wanna make sure, I don't want it to run out and I know it will run out because that's not a lot. So I will put it into here. So I will use it for piecing later. Where is it? There it is. <sighs> yeah, because it running out in the middle of the quilt is not fun. All right, ready? Now, whenever you're also free motion quilting, you want to make sure that your quilt is not sitting in a way that's pulling on anything. So as I get to this part right here, I can feel the pull of the quilt that's in my lap. So I'm gonna pick it up, shift it, and make sure. Remember path of least resistance. You wanna have zero pull on the quilt. You wanna have zero resistance as you're free motion quilting. Now, I talked in the stream on Sunday and Saturday night. I was at, oh no, I just went through an eye. Okay. I'm gonna go around. So remember, I don't wanna go through eyes. So now I'm gonna frame it a little bit. So, Jason is going to have a little bit of a look into his eye, into his right eye. So I actually, Um, I actually was having problems with my, with this machine. Because it was getting caught all the time. So I did take it to the shop on Monday. And my amazing machine tech guy repaired it immediately. There was a couple of things that were wrong. There was a burr on the plate itself. It could have been catching on. The foot that I used had a bunch of, uh, I had hit it a few times, so it had a bunch of burrs in it, so it may have been catching. And my tension for my bobbin case is a little bit too high. So these are all things that contributed to my issues I was having. just a touch more for the tension. Yeah, and, and Frosty, you never want to kick an animal. We love animals. With my slow meander, my slow just kind of moving all over the place, all I'm doing is making sure that I'm not crossing over myself again. So I'm just doing like kind of like a wide, jiggly, puzzle piece type slow motion. Because a meander just means that you're moving all over with no discernible pattern. So there is not any kind of pattern in here. And I will check it when I get to the end of this, Usa. Because it's not going to run out that fast, because I did just change it. All 
All right, now at this point, it's shorter for me to turn the quilt this way, and now this is going to be the path of, of least resistance. There we go. So always turn and move the quilt as needed. Now, the hardest part, right about this point of the quilt, I wanna speed up a lot. I really, I'm like, okay, I've got the rhythm going, let's turn up the speed, but you can't do that. When you are free motion quilting, you must stay at the same speed for the entire quilt. Because that, like I said, is what is determining your stitch length. Let's check the bobbin. No, I'm good. I'm good for a pass there and back. Yeah, that's true. Better safe than sorry. remember the first time I did free motion quilting I couldn't get it through my head that you ignore the fabrics and colors so you just do the design over top of it and you ignore everything that's going on So I'm not looking at the fabric that I'm sewing, I'm looking at the design that I'm putting down with the thread. Okay, let me shift it again. Path of least resistance. Turn that up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, this is set up almost like a Brady Bunch pattern. So I've got four different people all held together with sashing in the center. So I know by hitting this black line, I'm in the center of the quilt. So I want to go a little farther and then I'll start working way, make my way back over. Oh, thanks Frosty, I forgot to mention that. So the reason why I have to wear gloves, these are special quilting gloves that have grips on them. So it is actually allowing me to grip the fabric and move it. So that if you try to grab fabric and do this with your, your, with your hands, it's going to slip through and you won't have a good control over it. This way, I have more control over the fabric and that needle is going to go exactly where I want it to go. Yeah, see, so it's got actually a grip, grippy surface on it. So as I'm moving it, see, I can move the actual fabric. Why is that not, Usa? Can you allow that? It's weird. Eh, here, I'll allow it. I have no clue why Auto Mod didn't take that. It's so weird. 
Nope. No, no. So if I if I run over my hand with the needle, it's still gonna go through. It is just because of the fabric. So that I can have a better grip on on it and move it where I want it. It would be nice if I had something to protect my fingers. Ah, oh, there it is. I felt something pulling on it and I couldn't figure it out. It's because it slipped down and through there. Oh, you know what? Yeah, after I finish this quilt, remind me, Usa, and I'll add it to my Amazon list. That's actually a really good idea. Okay, let me check. Okay, Bobbin's still good. My biggest problem that I have is my presser foot, my um, presser foot, which is the the thing that you push down your little pedal. No, not presser foot. My pedal. It is called a pedal. My pedal slips all over the place, and it is super annoying. what I'm doing right now is actually called the quilting. So if you hear, you can refer to something as quilts, but if you hear the word quilting, they mean the design that's used to hold the quilt together. Because this is actually holding these three layers together. All right, it's about to run out. Oh, the living room. He shouldn't have slept in there. I'm getting food anyways. Yeah, no. It's his own fault. If you wake him up, you wake him up. All right, let's replace this baby. No, I don't want to do that one. That one's not quite a full bobbin. I'm gonna grab a full bobbin. Okay, so for giveaways, we are one sub away, five followers away, and we need 30 people watching to do giveaways. Um, and you know what? Oh, before I keep going, let me message my husband. the slower you go and the more design you put into a quilt the more thread you're going to use so when I get to the baby quilt for quilting it I'm gonna be doing an actually loop de loo design kind of like a curly Q design and because of that I'm gonna be using more thread Alright. Uh. 
So I will actually have to keep an eye on my bobbin even more when I do that one. I saw Usa just shouted out, I paint creatures. I completely agree. You should go give him a follow because I was actually watching him the other night. It's really cool. Oh, while I'm thinking about it. No, it is, it's batting. It's called B-A-T-T-I-N-G. Um, batting is what is in the middle of a quilt. It is, um, depending upon the batting, depends upon how thick it is, which is what's called the loft, and how soft it is. So I use an 80-20 cotton poly blend. That means it's 80% cotton, 20% polyester. And the reason that I do that is because it breathes more and it actually allows you to, it actually helps regulate your body temperature. So the stuff that I use is not very thick. It's actually kind of thin, but it helps regulate your body temperature. So even though it's not super thick, it actually helps you stay warm, but it actually also helps you stay cool. Um, no, you can't, I can't put a linking for that because I always recommend that you go to your local quilt shop for that because batting is so particular. You do not want to buy it online unless you know exactly what you're looking for and what you're doing. You always want to go and have someone's help. And when I do the charity stream, you guys will see exactly how I do the sandwiching and how I do all that. And I checked my bobbin just before I got started. It is good. I think it'll be good all the way down. But I'll check it again halfway, maybe. Burger, thanks for the host. <sighs> Minnie, if you're in the channel and that wasn't an auto host, how was last night? How was the uh, streamer get together?
Yeah, as you see, I just got to the embroidery part because the family that commissioned this quilt commissioned it to celebrate the birth of their baby. So I had to wait till the baby was born and then put his birthday on there. Good to go. I am good to go all the way to the end. Well, the end of this row, at least. I may have to change my bobbin one more time. At this point, path of least resistance is going to be to turn it again this way. Ugh. It's hard on your fingers, so I always like to stretch them. Whenever you're when you're sitting exactly in one position, it is hard on your back, your shoulders your hands so you should always take breaks always 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 Thanks, Usa. Yeah, so the quilts, if you click on the quiltoni.com and you go to commission, it actually has a range um, of prices and sizes. So this one I'm working on right now is a double sized. The other ones I'll be quilting are lap sized. So it all depends upon the size, the design, So, for example, the Maleficent King size quilt that I've been working on now for almost two weeks is a $3,000 quilt. So far, and I'm not even, I'm only done with the rows. I still have to sew all the rows together, put the border on, pin it, quilt it, bind it. So far, I have put in about 100 hours into that quilt. Not even counting the materials cost. And my guess is there's probably a good 40 to 50 hours still to go. All right, let's change this. This should be the last time I need to change the bobbin. Ah. hate when it does that. It got caught. 
I've got to redo the bobbin. I didn't put the bobbin in right because as soon as I started quilting, it got caught underneath, which tells me there's something wrong with the bobbin. Oh, before I forget, um, Uzi, can you call out Rangholm Design? R-A-N-G-H-O-L-M Design. D-E-S-I-N-G. Um, if you have not followed her, can you please, please, please follow her? She is a an amazing perler bead artist, but she doesn't melt them. She sews them. And she has been having a difficult time with her mother lately, who is in the hospital. So she needs all of the love and the support that we can give her. So if you have not followed her, please, 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 please follow her. And then when you see her streaming, please give her some love. Uh, Rang Home Design, R-A-N-G-H-O-L-M-D-E-S-I-N, Design, D-E-S-I-G-N. <laughs> Slowly. R A. N G H O L M D E S I D E S I G N Why is it not work? Oh, because you forgot the, the shout out. The SO. <laughs> you spelled it right, though. So, yeah, please give her a follow. She's going through a tough time with her mother in the hospital. And she needs love. She needs love and support. Twitch has been glitchy again, too. That's it. Thank you so much. Twitch is being twitchy again. I don't know if they're pushing through another patch. I don't know if they are... I don't know. Yeah, for right now, Fairy, um, I will do, I've got a baby quilt, this one right here, I'm gonna be doing in loop-de-loops next. So I mostly do just the wavy, which is a meandering, so there's no pattern. I just kind of move all over and make sure it's kind of wavy and spaced about the same, and I don't cross over any of the thread and that one's done Woohoo! <sighs> all right now that it's right side up i can show you now the pins are obviously still in it but this is the horror quilt so we've got jason freddie uh, michael and leatherface so those are the four that they asked for to be on the quilt. 
So the next step, and I'm not going to do it on the stream because this is a bigger quilt, is to take all of the pins out and then trim all of the edges. So I'll get that done in the morning. And then I will bind this to, on tomorrow night's stream. Okay. I have to stand and stretch because remember I said you have to take breaks between what you're doing. And I, no, I go faster. A, um, that only took me about an hour to do that one. That's not bad. Um, most people take about probably two to three hours to quilt a quilt. If that case, please stand and take a, a break every 45 to 50 minutes. Okay. Baby quilt. So this is a quilt for a friend of mine who is another crafter. Um, she makes dog leashes, dog collars. Um, she also does catnip bags. She does a lot of stuff with the rescues here in my home, in my town of London, Ontario. So she just had a baby. So I made this one, what, about two weeks ago on the stream? Ah, how's my bobbin? You know, I'm actually going to switch my bobbin to one of the ones that is low to do the border, to do the uh, basting stitch all the way around. <laughs> Why is there a SpongeBob the SquarePants musical? <laughs> I have no clue. Did you just get a commercial for one? Yes, Animal, I did stream yesterday. I actually streamed for six hours yesterday. I streamed 12 to 6 Eastern Standard Time. Today, I'm probably going to have to end my stream on time because Jordan has a ringette game. Although she is has a really bad cold, so we are trying to decide if she's going to go or not. Oops. There we go. Now, this stitch right here, again, this is just the basting stitch. Well, yeah, and we really didn't do story time, story day time too much yesterday. We just did a couple of things because Megan was here. It was a last minute thing. So the corset woman, my friend was here. So, cause she was in town. Oh, it popped up on the TV. So it's a new thing. So SpongeBob the SquarePants movie is a new thing. And just to, rem to point out for anyone that's just popped in recently, um, I, this is quilting day, so I'm not going to be able to look at chat as much. So if there's something you really want me to see, please put my name in there to make sure that I notice it as it goes through. Oh, great. And I use the rest of this one, so I will exchange it with another one that's low. And then this doesn't take away from the bobbin that I'll be doing the actual quilting with. Oh, before I forget, let me add these gloves. Oh, I can use this as a stretch. All right, gear and Amazon. So then that way you guys can see these gloves. Configure. Just waiting for it to load. Add gear. Oh, I think my, uh, my thing is too big. Okay, so... Let's remove that one. And let's add, whoops. Where are the ones that I use? I use Wonder Grip. Let's see if Wonder Grip is online. Yep, fantastic. Wonder Grip quilting gloves. Nope. Hmm. 
Apparently the quilting gloves are not online, so I will do another brand that I like. Okay, um, the Fonz and Porter ones are the ones that I suggest, and they're actually... Oh, I th see things on my screen. Hey, Kiki, thanks for the host. And it's a musical? Really? That's horrible. That's abs, yeah. Yeah, I wanna make sure, I don't want the medium ones. Let's see, quilting, gloves. I wanna make sure that you can change and get the size you need. Oh yeah, there they are. Those are the ones that I want. Add to list. Okay, so it is save, publish. Okay, so if you look at my Amazon list in the bottom, you can see these gloves. So if you want some free motion gloves, if you wanna look at them, they're only $10. They're super inexpensive, they're nice. It's, yeah, they're good. So take a look at them. And then you can actually read the description of what they do for you and why you want to have gloves whenever you're quilting. So yeah, Frosty, thanks for the question. I appreciate that. I, normally I talk about the gloves and I forgot. I really like these Amazon lists because then you can see exactly what I use and get them yourself if you want. Now you may notice this edge on this quilt is not is not straight. It's kind of all over the place a little bit. I will straighten it out after I quilt it. So I will straighten it nicely once that's done. Whoops. Oh, come here. And it would help if I could scroll up so I can see the number in case we hit 30 for giveaway. There we go. Now I got the number. <sighs> now this quilt may almost take about the same time as the first one because the first one I was doing a meander. This one I'm gonna be doing loop to loops. And even though it's a smaller quilt, it will be a lot easier. The quilting I'm going to do on it is going to be uh, more intricate. And I may throw in a heart now and then. I may throw in a bone. I may throw in dis random designs in this. I'm still going to meander. I'm not going to plan out a design. So some, quilter, some quilts you may notice that they actually have designs and they've planned things out and they've done certain things. Oops. Haha, -ha, I totally just went through that pin and I've got it caught. All right, so in this case, I can cut it. It is not a problem because this is still just the uh, basting all the way around the edge so that I don't trap the underneath. There we go. Uh, I was actually just talking about that, Kiki, and I added it to the Amazon. The gloves are to grip the fabric. So if you notice here, I've got grip on the back of these gloves. So if you look at it, you see how it moves around. If you do your hand, see how my hand moves? The gloves are grippy, so they allow me, there's no slip. So then I can put the exact design that I want into the quilt and into the fabric. And then um, somebody asked for a link to it, so I went ahead and I added it to my Amazon. So if you scroll down to my Amazon list down below, if you want more details, explanations of why, how, things like that, it's all on the Amazon list. Uh, 
And I am almost to the end, so I'm going to put in that full bobbin again. Thank you very much, Usa. You read my mind. Yeah, this one especially, I need to keep an eye on the bobbin. Because I'm going to be doing designs in it. So because of that, it's going to take up a lot more thread and that bobbin's going to go faster. hard in here. Yeah, I'm not going to do a bone. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking the bone's going to be a little too tough. But I'm going to do hearts now and then. Because there's hearts on this fabric. Thank you so much for Sky Knight. Thanks for popping by. I appreciate it. All right, while well, I stop, nope, Bobbin's good. And you may notice the hearts are random. Put a little heart over that doggy. It's hard for me to do a heart on its side because I've got the quilt on its side right now. I keep forgetting. I'm doing loop de loops, not meandering. hearts I do the better I'm getting at them and that's the trick right is this the muscle memory of putting the designs in there that you want Okay, now I'm going to turn it. Now, turning it this way is going to be a lot easier to do those hearts. And I may just keep it like this for the entire thing. That way I can make sure I get some hearts into it. Nope, good.
See, even though I'm putting some hearts and some curly cues in here, this design is still called a meander because I didn't plan anything out ahead of time. I'm just kind of going along like I'm doing. Now, I wouldn't have been able to go all the way across on the last quilt doing this because this one's just a lot smaller and easier for me to do it. Let me check my bobbin. Ooh, ooh, I'm getting low. It's a good thing I checked. All right, let me make, make, make my way over. Every time you stop, you should always at least stretch something. Oh. keep looking over at my phone because I'm waiting to see what Jordan's coach says about her cold. If he needs her to play today or if she can stay home. Dealing with sick ones, even if it's just cold, is never fun. Okay, I was just looking to make sure that didn't pop in. Oh, you just now got the email? That's weird. Yeah, I've been live for an hour and a half. Hmm. Well, I am updating my Instagram and my Twitter every day whenever I go live. So probably follow the Instagram and the Twitter if you want to get like an actual update when it happens. Twitch is just being twitchy. You know what? I'm going to move this over a little bit. So this actually shifts. So I actually, my table, can, my extended table can actually move around. Yeah, that, that stinks, doesn't it, Kiki? It's, and she's, she's not little too. She's 15, but it's just a matter of, do I want her out playing a team sport? where she's going to be you know, all using all this energy and she's sick 
and she can make her teammates sick or because it's a cold toughen up and get through it it's uh you know it's it's the balance of what do you want to do And I am not following my own advice about doing the path of least resistance because I am putting hearts into it. And I'm, I'm just having problems putting hearts into it at an angle. So this way, oh, it's falling, there we go. My hearts are all facing the correct direction. I put a little tiny heart in there. I've got some big hearts. I've got some little hearts. Done. Okay, so this one is quilted. see if I can find a heart to show you in the close-up camera yeah yeah so you can it's kind of in the thread you can see it better in person than you can on the camera all right so that one is good um let me fold that up stand and stretch for a moment Hey, Sandrasa, how are you? Today is uh, free motion quilting binding day. So I've got another about an hour and a half of free motion quilting. I only have three more to go, and then I'll be doing some binding. I'll get those done probably in about 30 to 45 minutes of time. So I should have time to at least add the binding onto one quilt. Let's do the Wonder Woman's next. That way you can see the Wonder Woman's with the bling on them. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, see, so I've got bling in here on her skirt and on her crown. It was really nice, it was good. It's, uh, Megan's always fun when she comes over. We um, talked, she did some cross stitch. She blinged out a corset. I got Pillowcases done. I got a bunch of dice bags done. All sorts of things. All sorts of things got done. I mean, I have two. So whenever, whenever I do quilts from my own pattern line, um, unless it's the very first one where I'm trying to figure out the pattern, I do them two at a time, and then that way I have I have two on me that I can then. Um, have for convention so that I'm not making quilts every single time when I do them oh you just go around it yeah I just don't hit I just don't touch the bling with the um, with the needle because see there's enough space right here to where it can slide through here without a problem so I just make sure I don't hit the bling now I could have put it on after but I think it's better to put it on before I do the quilting. That way I know the, the places to avoid. Oh, you know what? Let me switch this out. 
for a low one. And I don't know if you do this, Sandrasa, but I do a basting stitch all the way around whenever I do free motion quilting because I suck and I always catch the back like this into my quilting. So it does two things. It allows me to check my, my um, Um, it allows me to check my, uh, oh my gosh, my tension. It allows me to check the tension. And then I can also to go, you know, hold this down so there's less chance of me catching the back into there. Treats! I've got the cam on the dog the entire time today because I cannot reach the mice to go back and forth. Where's Marley? Oh, there's Marley. All right, guys, bed. Go in the bed. Go in the bed. In the bed. Come here. Sit down. There you go. In the bed. That's a good boy. Hi, Junie. There you go. Oh, okay. Yep. I... I don't know. I don't stitch in the ditch a lot because... I don't know. I just... I can go really, really fast at um, meandering. At free motion. So I do the basting stitch because I suck. And I don't want to catch the back. I do it all the time. Thank you. Yo, I'm fantastic. So the gloves are quilting gloves. So whenever you're doing free motion quilting, you, all, you should always wear gloves because it grips the fabric better. And then I can move the quilt around and, and do, do the designs that I want. these stitches don't make a difference because you're not going to see them. They're going to be underneath the binding. So they're really for my personal use just to hold that back down. Yep, they're quilting gloves. Stitch in the ditch looks forms down because of free motion throughout. I haven't really free motion one overall pattern on my pieces. Yeah, I don't do a lot of patterns. I just do a meander. So the first quilt that I did, I did a general meander, which is what I'm going to do on this one. The baby quilt that I just did, I did kind of a loop-de-loop -loop with some hearts meander. Bob and thread ran out. Oops. There we go. And I'm almost to the end. Oh, man, I'm missing the whole thing, aren't I? <laughs> no, that's fine. T can wake you up. Okay, so whenever I get to the actual free motion part, if you say something you would like me to see, please make sure you tag me because I'm only going to be glancing at the screen now and then. I may miss things. Now, and don't judge free motion quilting the time it takes on what I do. I am fast. I am super fast. So it is 1037. So let's see how long it takes me to free motion this. 
Now remember, with free motion quilting, your speed is important. How fast you move this fabric. It needs to be the same throughout the entire quilt. The speed you start with needs to be the same speed that you finish with because you are determining your stitch length. If you go fast, your stitch length will be long. If you go slow, the stitch length will be short. You do not want to alternate it. You want it to be nice and uniform throughout the quilt. I am also doing a general meander, which means I'm just kind of moving all over, but I'm trying to make sure my thread is the same space from each other. I'm not going over top of it, although if that's the design you do, then that's perfectly fine. Oh, and faces. So this is Wonder Woman's eyes. I have learned the hard way. You do not want to sew through eyes or mouth or else you give them weird expressions and possibly mustaches and beards. So I just avoid the eye mouth region completely. And I know I just went over the bling, but I'll talk about that when I get down to the skirt where there's more bling. Yeah, and I make my designs two at a time because it's actually faster to sew two at the same time than it is to sew them separately because of efficiency. Okay, so I'm gonna pause so I can shift. No, no unibrow. You don't want Wonder Woman to have a unibrow. If you watched the stream where I had Maggie over, where I was teaching her how to sew, and I was, I kept scolding her for looking over at the computer while she was sewing. I have been doing it for nine years now, and I sew probably a good 80 to 100 hours a week. So I know exactly where my hands are, so I can look away from my quilt as I'm doing it. Ooh, bobbin is getting low. Let me change it now. And this bobbin should last me till the end. Oh, I keep missing it. <laughs> I'm used to having it right there, but I had to move it. So I'm coming up on the bling in her skirt. So the biggest thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I don't put the needle near the bling. I kinda wanna go around the bling. So the bling is right there. So see, I'm just kind of moving around. I'm still sewing near it, just not near enough where I can accidentally hit it because it is a hard object. 
I'm probably not going to break my needle or damage my machine, but it may knock off the bling, causing me more work, which I don't want to do. So I'm just going to avoid them. I can feel it tugging, so I've got to shift it. Path of least resistance. You never ever want your quilt to pull at what you're doing. You want to make sure it's a nice, easy surface. And then this also goes back to the um, ironing your seams. I, there's no problem for me going over these seams ironed to one direction. But some people find whenever they do their quilting, they don't like the extra bulk, and that's so they iron their seams open. For my pieced quilts, it's the same amount of bulk. But for other quilts, you may want to iron them open, just out of ease of quilting. motion is all about constantly moving as long as the foot is down, as long as your pedal is down. The moment that you stop your pedal, stop the quilting. It's all about the rhythm and flow. Now you can make sandwiches. What sandwiches are, you don't eat them. It is basically just using scrap fabrics and batting, scrap batting. So you just make sandwiches and practice, practice over and over. For the Catan quilt, whenever I decided to do pebbles or bubbles for all of the water area, I made a bunch of sandwiches and just practiced that over and over and over until I was comfortable with that stitch of how I was going to do it. And then I immediately went and did it on the Catan quilt. That's it. All right, so what did I say, 37? Wow, that was eight minutes. Not bad. She's done. So she is all quilted. And there's the bling on the skirt. And the bling, you can't really see the bling in the crown, but it's there. Let's do the other one. All right, so let's stretch. All right, and yes, we are still doing giveaways today. I will just do the giveaways in between quilts themselves. So if we hit a one of the goals while I'm quilting, I'll just do it while ever and take the break. I'm also not switching it to the cat cam because, oh, look at that emote. Hi, Matt, Matt, Miss Ronan. Um, in case we get um, donations for bits, I don't want to constantly be going back and forth because it's kind of like a little crowded over here because I'm free motion quilting. Uh, um, yes and no, fairy wings. It depends on the quilt. So the... Megan's not in here, right? We haven't seen Joy Drop anywhere? Okay. So the corset quilt that I'm making her for her wedding has... Um, corsets um applique into there so that one has more of a structure on it there's more layers on it um it's a little bit stiffer but that's just because of the nature of the material that i'm using i'm actually using scraps from her corsets so all of those cor the scraps up in the corner most of them are actually going into her quilt uh it all and it depends upon what it is fantastic usa giveaways at 30. 30. um there are Sorry, I'm stretching while I'm talking. There are some quilts that you can actually put a lot of structure. The, this stuff, the Terial Magic that I use for t-shirt quilts sometimes, 
It's basically a liquid fabric stabilizer, which turns whatever you are working on into a harder, more pliable area. So, oh. okay, just making sure it didn't pause it. So you can actually have quilts with fabric coming out of the quilt. And those are more art quilts that have a lot more structure onto them. I meant to do one for a challenge with the Van Gogh thing, but I never found time. I just never did it. I really need to find more time for stuff like that. Hopefully that's what you meant <laughs> with the structure stuff. All right. And let's change the bobbin back to one that doesn't have a lot on it. You know, I'm going to go ahead and just do that one and this one for the basting stitch all the way around. Just get those two done. Oops. And then, so I've got one, two, three, four. So which quilt do you guys want to see me bind? So do you want me to bind one of the Wonder Womans? Do you want me to bind the White Mage, which is the next one I'm going to quilt? Or do you want me to bind the Baby Quilt? Because I'm going to have time for to bind one. Oh, this the structure about stitch. Oh, so you mean like the patterning. Do I do like patterns within it? Yes. Dep depending upon what it is, I may um, design out what I'm going to do. So Catan is in there somewhere. The Catan quilt, I actually planned out exactly what I wanted to look like with the quilting and the patterns within the quilt. So that one was a very structured one where everything was planned out within it. The bigger quilts, I tend to just meander. Because for me, it's all about efficiency. For the smaller quilts, the more of the art style quilts, I'll plan out and do it. Oops, there we go. All right, there's one for White Mage, one for Wonder Woman. Because I'm thinking I am only going to have time to bind one. And then the rest I'll bind tomorrow. Jordan's coach. It looks like at this point he's going to try to because they have a bunch of kids that are out today. So they may not even have enough to field a team. So oh hi Gasu, how are you? So we are going to he's going to try to find another kid to replace her. If he can't, then she's got to go to the game. If he can replace her, well then I'll let her stay home because she's sick. So the gloves are special quilting gloves that allow me to grip the fabric better. I can take the fabric and it grips it. So it, I can move the fabric exactly where I want it to go and put the design in there that I want in there. Yeah, last Saturday when I was doing all the quilting for the charity quilts for for my guild, I uh, forgot my gloves at home. So I actually had to come back home to get the gloves so that I could keep working on it. All right, and I fibbed. I'm just going to keep working on this one. I'm not going to put all the way around because I don't have a lot that have extra thread on it yet. Yeah, nope, anyone that, that um, free motion quilts, 
So that's you putting the patterns into the quilting. Always use the quilt gloves because you can grip them better. And I actually added them to my Amazon list. So if you scroll down, you actually look at my Amazon um, um, sewing supply list. You can actually click on them to see, you know, if you want more information about how, what they do, how they do it, what this grippy stuff is on there. And then what I'm doing, the stitch I'm doing is just a meandering. All it means is I'm moving all over the quilt. I don't have any pattern in mind. You're so smart, fairy wings. Okay. All right. I love it. I loves it. Nightbot. Commands. Gloves. Fairy Wings is so smart. All right, now I gotta find, look, actually look these up. And these actually are the best ones, but they're not on Amazon. Wonder Grip. Where is hmm? See, everything that pops up is on. Yeah, let's look under the quilt in the day one. There we go, copy, and Nightbots. Based. Submit. All right, guys, you can try it out. Let's see if it works. Yeah, no, I, I, you know, I didn't even think about stuff like that. And then, um, yeah, I totally need to do that. Okay, gloves. All right, so gloves are in there. Thanks, Fairy Wings. I appreciate the input and the help. Fantastic. Yep, and then that's the brand that I'm using. Right there is the Wonder Grip. What's funny, and what I was discovering as I was looking through the whole thing, is they apparently are now using the same gloves for gardening as well as quilting. So you know, if you think of the gardening gloves, you do with the grip so you can grab onto the plants and pull it, they're now using the same, the Wonder Grip is now making gardening gloves and it's basically the same glove, which is really funny. Okay, Bobbin's good. And where was I? There, there, there. Fantastic. Okay, so Usa, you now have a command. So if anyone else pops into the channel and asks about the gloves, you can do gloves. Yay.
Yeah, I heard you talking yesterday, Fairy, about um, your mod that just kept putting things in there and putting stuff in that you didn't even know you needed. I am in the process of getting other people set up to change my box and to do all that other stuff. I will get there. Yeah, no, Ray's awesome. Like, and he's on top of it, too. Like, the moment someone says anything, there all of a sudden there's a shout-out, or there's a link, or there's something. It's awesome. Usa does an amazing job, and Monkey does an amazing job with all the shout outs and with everything else that they do. Now it's just a matter of learning all those little fine detail stuff. Oh, they race. <laughs> Speaking of, if you guys don't follow Fairy Wings, you need to go follow her. She is amazing. She is wonderful. She's a chain mailer and jewelry maker who does absolutely amazing, beautiful, gorgeous work. And she's just an amazing human being. So if you don't follow her, please go, go, go right now. Go follow. I agree, Mrs. Mad Ronan. Yeah, I should be good on the bobbin. Or down and back. See, and this is why we have that bobbin command. Because if I run out of thread in the middle of my quilt, it sucks. And I forget to check the bobbin all the time, especially if I'm doing bigger quilts. makes me smile when I see the sewing machines. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Usa. I got it. I'm good. Oops. Oh, where did you go? My bobbin wind is running away. Don't run away. Well, it went under something. Apparently it escaped me. Yeah, it's gone. That's okay. It was an almost empty bobbin. I will find it later. Oh, path of least resistance. Yeah, and obviously quilting days are a little bit more lower key because 
I do have to concentrate on the actual quilt, but it's an important step in the quilting process, especially for those people that are you making my patterns and they're quilting for the first time. This is something you need to know. Now, you can always just send it out. There are people, like Iron Bands Graham, who are long armors, where they basically, you can send them your quilts and they will quilt it for you. Oh yeah, no, even if the dogs and cats will be, well, okay, no, granite may not leave it alone. The dogs leave my bobbin stuff alone. And I'll look for it later. So if I wanted to, after I finished one of these tops, I could just send it to Iron Bands Graham and she would finish it off for me. Now a lot of times, um, long armors, they don't do binding most of the time. Some of them do. They expect you to do the binding or send it to someone else to do the binding. I used to hate binding because I do not like making binding, but I now have a cheater shortcut that I do, which makes me super happy, which I will show you in probably about 20 minutes. There we go. She is done. Okay. So we still, well, why, why are you, oh man, are you kidding me? Look at that. I apparently got thread caught in there. How did I do that one? Man, I somehow caught a thread from my bobbin case in my quilting and then it was pulling and going everywhere. Well, that's fine. You just pull it out. It's not going to hurt the quilt. Okay, last one, two quilts. And then I'll show you binding. Yeah, I don't have a lot to quilt today. Ah. How was everyone's evening? I had a nice time last night. I hung out in Junie's channel again for a few hours. I actually hung out in her channel until 11.30. I was so tired. I'm like, I gotta go, goodbye. Like as soon as I was getting ready to go, Minnie showed up because Minnie went out. Okay, well I mean last night, Junie. I mean, your evening's last night. How was your evening's last night? How is your morning? So yeah, so I hung out with Junie for a while. Boxed up, well, bagged up all of the giveaways. So I can put them in the mail tomorrow. Hehehehe. <laughs> Your caffeine isn't waking you up enough? That's okay. That's okay, Judy. Yeah, if you ever want... Uh, thanks, Usa. If you ever want a PG-13 Tony, you will only ever see her in Junie's channel. After... In the evenings. So, yeah, no, it's funny. I know uh, Two Wolf came by last night. Rampillion was there. Iron Bands Grand came for a while. I don't think I'm missing anyone. 
But yeah, we had a good time. We had a really good time last night. So yeah, so you should totally follow Junie. It gets interesting. And Fairy was in the, the chat with us for a while. Last night we had a lot more philosophical discussions about the world. It was fun. And then I drank a whole bunch of wine. And started to get a little silly. Jesse, you're awake. So, Jesse has been trying to get me to raid um, his other favorite streamer. So, I told him the next time that because his other favorite streamer is a um, is a he paints like Gundams and things. It's so super cool. So, I told him the next time that he is in the stream, that the other person is streaming, I will raid them. So that's what I was asking last night when I was deciding who I was going to raid. I, I said, hey, Jesse, are you still here? And he didn't answer. Well, apparently he fell asleep. <laughs> but that's okay. It was. It's fine, because it was good. Because last night... Shout out, wine. <laughs> I love you, Usa. Um, it, it worked out, Jesse, because last night we ended up raiding Tasty Peach Studio, who was doing a charity stream raising money for her local animal shelters. So it was, um, it was good. It was, it was a really, really good cause. It was a good raid. I felt good about it. And then I proceeded to watch Kay Pike do her awesome painting and hang out in Junie's channel. Oh, and Jesse, I sent you a message. If you haven't responded yet, please send it back for the whisper so I can mail you your package tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, we did a couple giveaways. Uh, I am... Oh, I know. Kay Pike's just freaking amazing. I love her. And yeah, we were talking about her last night in Junie's channel, too. Um, yeah, you can do a shout-out for Kay Pike, too, if you want. So I am quilting. So this is the process. After I make the quilt tops, I then have to sew it together. So there's three layers. You have the top, which you guys see me making on the streams all the time. I have the batting which is the soft, fluffy stuff that goes in the middle that keeps you warm. And then I have the backing, which is just a piece of fabric for the back. And the quilting is what holds it together. So this is actually what holds all the layers together for your quilts. Hey, monkey, how are you? I am having a shorter stream today because, oh, I forgot to text my husband. He's sh grocery shopping. He's got to get me some things. So, all right. So we need napkins, paper towels, and my milk, please. Yep. It, she's got a game. We haven't, she's sick. So she's got a bad cold, so we haven't decided if she's going yet or not. I finally heard back from her coach. He's trying to find a, another girl to replace her because they only have an exact number of girls today. So if he finds another girl to replace her, she's going to stay home. But then we also have Christmas with my husband's mom's family. And if she stays home from Ringette, she is staying home from Christmas. But we'll take her gift and we'll give her her gifts so she can open here and 
because you know if you miss one thing sorry you're too sick to do everything else you're gonna stay in bed yeah but I'm good it's not we're not doing shorter stream because of me it's because of ringette and Christmas Oh, Fairy had a great idea, too. If you do command gloves, you can actually see the information about the gloves. Fairy Wing is, is so smart. See, she suggested uh, commands for all of my materials, things I do, questions that keep popping up. She's so smart. Um, they live about an hour away. So everyone else is going to be there. So right now it is 11, 12. Um, oh, Chris, oh, you mean so early in the season. It's because there are, it's so hard to get everyone in the family together. They said that was the only day that they could figure out where everyone was going to be here. Because Mike's mother spends Christmas normally in Vegas, but this year she's spending it in Cuba. So she's actually leaving in a week for Cuba and then not coming back until Boxing Day. So next weekend would have been the only other weekend that they could have done Christmas. So next weekend, I think a bunch of the kids all had to work or they had commitments. Something was going on to where they couldn't do it next weekend. So it had to be this weekend. And yesterday was not a good day for us because Jordan had all sorts of commitments. Awesome, thanks, Jesse. Yes, uh, now, um, Americans don't. Amer so in the States, they don't do Boxing Day, but they, we do it here in Canada. Like boxing, so Canada does Black Friday just because we're so close to the states, but Boxing Day is still bigger than Black Friday. And if you say something to me, if I don't see it, if I miss it, please tag me because when I'm quilting and binding, I don't watch chat as much because I'm watching my quilt more. Although I did just notice if we get five more, you guys get a giveaway. Five more people. The sewing wibble. It is free motion quilting is the technical term, but I like the sewing wibble. This is the last one. I actually already quilted the horror quilt, the baby quilt, and two Wonder Woman. So I'm almost done with this. Which do you... Yeah, it is very satisfying. Which quilt do you guys want me to see me bind? Because I'm only gonna have time to bind one quilt. Do you want White Mage? Do you want Wonder Woman? Or do you want the baby quilt with all the dog fabric? Okay, so that is now two votes for the Wonder Woman and one for White Mage. Oh, my husband doesn't remember the milk I do. Uh, I'm not sewing in any pattern, Jesse. I am doing what is called a meander, which means I am just kind of moving all over the quilt and just kind of doing the same rhythm just kind of just like uh just wandering all over my meanders tend to be a bunch of um curves and as long as all the, the thread 
is evenly spaced, that's the only thing that matters. Because you don't want one part of the quilt, a whole bunch of thread all together in a group, and another part, they're all kind of wide. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot the most important thing about free motion quilting, your hand. So, depending upon the batting you use, depends upon how much space you can have between the thread. The general rule of thumb is that you make a fist and put the fist on the quilt. If you don't touch a thread, you have to add more. So it's, now for the stuff that I have got, the, um, um, the free motion, the, the batting that I'm using for this one, it is actually an eight inch batting. So that means as long as I have thread every eight inches, it's fine. And the reason you wanna make sure that happens is because whenever you uh, wash it after quilting it, the, the batting may shrink a little bit and it may cause puckers. So the wider, the higher that number it says per inch for the, that for the uh, sewing, that means the less shrinkage is going to happen. So the eight inch and 10 inches are really, really good battings. So look at that whenever you're looking at your batting. Ah, <sighs> you didn't want to miss anything. All right, so everything is quilted. Woohoo! Let's do a Wonder Woman. So first thing I want to do is get this out. We're shifting all of this over. treats. Put them here. Let's move all of this over and you'll see why when I get there. Thanks for the host, Frosty. I appreciate it. So it's super important when you do binding that you have an open area. Okay, so this can all get shifted. All right, where are my pins? They're in there. I didn't get everything ready. Okay, let me go get my, my little thing, which is right over here. Excuse me walking in front of the camera. So these are my pins. Whenever you pin a quilt, uh, there is a very special pin that I use because it is curved. So it's a little, eh, let me hold it up so you can see it a little bit better. So you see this bottom one right here? It actually has a bend in it. It's not straight. So it has a point. So that way, whenever you are pinning it, you're actually scooping in all the layers so you can catch all the layers. So I keep mine open because it's a lot easier than when I go to grab them to pin them. So whenever I take all the pins out of a quilt, I just open them and toss them in. And then that way I don't have to open them whenever it is time to use them. Yep, four more and you guys get a giveaway. So one more sub, uh, five followers, and four more people watching. You guys get giveaways. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking all of the pins out. Oh, you know what I should be doing? I should be winding my bobbins because I don't have any black bobbins because the binding I'm putting on is black. So I should be winding bobbins. Is it, oh, I did it wrong. <sighs> there, and then there, and then there. Hey, Jesse, thanks for the host. And Cousseau, thanks for those bits. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. 
Oh, come on. Do it right. Go into there and then there. There we are. Now it's tight. That's much better. Okay, back to pulling pins out. Cat Mom Mippy, thank you very much for that host. <laughs> Monkey just saw Gasu was here. You guys are funny. And yeah, thanks for all the hosts. Thanks for trying to get the word out to try to hit the 30 number so we get giveaway. All right, and let's do one more because I cannot. I said Gasu, didn't I? I said Gasu. Did I say it wrong? I have it written on my board as Gus Sue. That way it reminds me. <sighs> so normally, I would just keep on going and hope that number keeps on going up and up and up, but today is a busy, pack-filled day. So even if she doesn't go to ringette, I'm thinking I have to stop because they live an hour away from where we're going for Christmas. And if she doesn't go to ringette, I think they want us to come earlier. Spava Blount, good morning. How are you? There we go. Black into the bobbin case. And this is the same thread that I was just quilting with, so I'm gonna use the same needle. Hey, my needle thing is not is working again. Hey, crochet dude, how are you? I saw that um, your thing popped up. I saw you were streaming and we're at 30, so we get a giveaway. Um, how was, was it a short stream or were you just testing things? Yes, guys, we are doing a giveaway. All right, let me finish pulling out all these pins and then I will get it set up for you. <laughs> I love you guys. Everyone is amazing. Everyone's super happy. Yes, yes, that does mean that this has been satisfied. So we are going to do a giveaway. I love my channel. I have amazing, amazing people that hang out. All right, last one I'm pulling out. Okay, so it was a short one. Fantastic. For those of you uh, that haven't followed Crochet Dude, please go shoot him a follow. He's awesome. He's your fantastic. He does an amazing stream. Super awesome guy. You want to follow him. So, let's set up the giveaway. All right. I need this mouse right here. So I'm going to do that. <gasps> treats thank you cyan or cyanin cyanin yeah cyanin and giveaways marley alfred treats let's do bring that subscriber luck up let's add in the mods i know where's more oh there's marley hi guys all right let me get the treat right up the treats oh there they are Kind of over here. One, two, three. <sighs> There's one, two, three. I know. Yeah, you guys. Oh, you're so happy, aren't you? You're so happy. 
be sure to see you. Thank you. I know. Thank you for the kisses too. I know. I love you very much. Thank you. Thank you from those treats. Thank you very, very much. <gasps> did I did I get another donation? Did wait, did St. Jude? <gasps> False Ragnarok! Thank you for your donation to St. Jude! That is amazing! Alright, now I have to go back in and do the donation. Okay, so add a donation. False rag Narok $20. Thank you so, so much for donating $20 to St. Jude's. That is amazing. And for those of you that are not, have not been here to hear it or have, didn't read the little thing that popped by, uh, I am raising money for St. Jude's right now. It is. Um, where's my quote? There it is. Um, I am going to be doing a charity stream where I'm going to be doing a, one of my quilt patterns start to finish all in one stream, everything, piecing, quilting, binding, everything. And you are going to get a chance to win that quilt. So as soon as I'm finished with the quilt, I'm going to do a drawing. And for every $5 you donate to St. Jude's, you get one ticket to win that quilt. So thank you so much, False Ragnarok for that donation. I appreciate it so much. Yes, yes, thank you so much. I appreciate it. My goal is 500, so I want to raise $500 minimum for St. Jude's. If we go over, awesome, but that's my goal. So thank you, thank you. I know. Well, no, because it, it came up. It Yeah, it doesn't make any noise, and it doesn't pop on any of my things. I have to add it in. So I've asked Monkey and Usa and everyone to, like, bug me and tell me and let me know. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, oh, I love you guys. So giveaway. Here's how it works. You guys, by talking in chat, have actually been entering the giveaway. Uh, I need you, if, you have, if you're lurking, if you want to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is say something in chat. It can be an emo, it can be lurk, it could be spoons, it could be actually talking to us. Everyone else has been entering. If you are a subscriber, you get six tickets into the drawing. If you are not a subscriber, you get, a one, you get one ticket into the drawing. And you must be a follow, just as Pink Monkey said. So if you are not a follower and you win, I'm going to redo it because you do have to follow the channel. That is the only thing you have to do is follow my channel. So please make sure you're a follower. And yep, see, just like that, just pop in little things and you guys are entered into the drawing. What can you win? You can win your choice of... A quilt pattern, one of my Quiltoni quilt patterns. You only have to know how to use a sewing machine and cut fabric in order to make it. You can win a bag of scraps, or you could win a dice bag. So it is your choice which one, or if you are a subscriber or thinking of subscribing and you want pixels, that will be put into your account to go towards a custom dice bag, pillowcase, or quilt. So if you are a subscriber, you're going to be a subscriber, and you want me to make you a quilt one day, the pixels are an option. You get five pixels. So you have your choice. One of the above. Pattern, bag of scraps, dice bag, or five pixels. So fantastic. All right, so I'm going to run through and let you know who all is entered into the giveaway right now. We've got Bustifer, Crochet Dude, Cyanin, Digadilly, Euphonium Hero, Fast, False Ragnarok, Flying Pink Monkey, Frosty the Snow Girl, Gusso, Jesse Derp, Junie, Lousy Soy, and Svava Blount, and Usa. So if I did not say your name, you need to say something in chat in order to be eligible. And while I'm waiting for that to run for a moment, I am going to trim this. So before I can do the binding, I've got to trim. So I've got to cut away all of this extra stuff right here along the edge. And 
And as soon as I finish cutting it all the way around, I'm going to pick a winner. I do have it set to 15 minutes, right? Yes, okay. So if you are a subscriber, you get six tickets into the drawing. So you can, uh, again, I'm giving you a few moments if you want to go quickly subscribe. And if you are not a subscriber, you get one ticket into the drawing. I do not, ha you don't have to say anything specific. I do not have any requirements of having to watch me for a certain amount of time because I want to encourage new people into the channel and raids and all sorts of things. Oh, and I need to change that number because if that number hits 40, we do another giveaway. Yeah, or if we hit one more sub, we do another giveaway. We do two giveaways. And for those of you, if you missed my stream yesterday, I actually made all of the dice bags that people had chosen for their rewards throughout the week. And they're all gonna go in the mail tomorrow. So I'm thinking for the people that pick a dice bag, I may start doing that. I may start like on the weekends making the dice bags for you. Now, whenever I'm traveling to conventions, if you want a dice bag, unfortunately it's gonna have to wait until I get home, unless I have extra dice bags in stock that you would just want with like one of those that's already made. And that would have to be, of course, after MAGFest because MAGFest gets first choice of purchasing them. There we go, and it's all cut. Okay, let's pick a winner. Wait, ignore you for what? Wait, don't change it. Um, oh, <laughs> And who would want a sub? You could be Tony's slave. Oops, I mean minion. <gasps> Wait, don't change what? What do you mean, don't change what? Yes, soldiers. Because, you know, if you are, if you're part of our channel, you're one of us, you're gonna help me take over the world. Because, you know, one day, quilters are going to take over the world. Hannah, you are just in, I was just about to pull a giveaway because we hit 30 people watching. You are just in time. You are so lucky. <laughs> you are just in. All right, guys, one more time. I'm reading through the list. If I don't say your name, you are not in the drawing. Bustifer, Crochet Dude, Cyanin, Digadilly, Euphonium Hero, uh, Euphonium Hero. Why don't I always say that right? False Ragnarok, Monkey, Frosty to Snow Girl, Gusso, Hannah, Jesse, Junie, Lazy Soy. Swava Blount and Usa. Fantastic. Ooh, I didn't know you're a quilter part time crochet dude. Well, then you can help us take over the world. For also Ragnarok, um, you can do it with, I think, Jess. So we said all of our cosplayers and armorers, I think we decided we're going to be our generals. So you can, if you want to be the armorer to, to outfit the generals, that's, that's perfectly fine. We can do that. So, all right, ready? Do, 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 do. Oh, Doug's just in time. Doug is in the drawing. And roll it. Gusso. Yay. So, Gusso, would you like a, a pattern, a bag of scraps, a dice bag, or would you like five pixels? It is completely up to you what you would like. Pixels, please. Fantastic. So, oh, in fact, look, Nightbot's telling us right there if you want to check your pixels. Okay, so let me scroll down to Gasu. 15. <gasps> Dig a dilly! Dig a dilly's getting us another giveaway. Thank you. Okay, since I'm already in here. First, let's go down. Let's give. Oops, let's go right here. Thank you so much for that sub. Dig, I, dilly, 
now has 10 pixels. So Gusso has 15 pixels. Diggadilly has 10. Yay! And yes, we'll do treats too. All right, let me add you to my board. And Diggadilly. Dig it. Now, these numbers are right here for the for the subs. Do not go away at the end of each one. So this now goes to zero. If we get one more, that one more will carry over to our next stream. So the only thing that resets is the followers and the people watching. So dig it. And if we hit 40 for this number, you guys get another giveaway. Dig it dilly now has 10 pixels. And if you would like to check your pixels, if you scroll up, uh, Nightbot gave us a link. Treats! It is happy puppy time. Marley! All right, guys, in the bed, in the bed, in the bed, in the bed. Yeah, if you want treats, go ahead, Frosty. All right. Let's scooch over into bed. <gasps> That's good babies. There's Marley and Alfred and Soleil. Thank you for the sub. So, Digga Dilly, you now get pixels. So pixels can be used to get a dice bag, a pillow, pillow case for your bed or pillow cover for a throw pillow of your choice. Um, or you can bank them and I can make you a quilt one day. So if you want to see how many you need in order for those things, if you scroll down to the Y sub tab, and you also get that amazing sewing machine for an emote. So you can go down to Y sub and it'll explain how many pixels you get for each level, how many pixels you need for things. Oh, that is an awesome emote. Who is that from? Oh, is that a general one? Because if I hover over it, that's so cool. Oh, is that on your phone? That is such a cool emote. I love that. So thank you. Thank you again for the sub. I appreciate it. So I'm going to go to ooh, binding. I am running out of time. Running out of time. Okay. Binding. Here we go. Unless we, we do more giveaways because I'd rather do giveaways because giveaways are fun. All right. For binding, I'm going to talk about binding. And tomorrow's stream, we are going to continue with the binding. So start to finish binding stuff. I use a thread holder to hold my binding because I said I cheat. I hate, hate making binding. Absolutely hate it. So when I went to quilt market in the spring, oh, those are cool. I went to quilt market in the spring. I learned that Moda sells binding by the roll. So it's quilters bias binding by the roll. So you can actually go into your local quilt shop. Where's my thing to get rid of hair? My roller. You can go into your local quilt shop and buy this by the yard. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. So you can actually buy it by the yard. So if you hate bi making binding as much as I hate making binding, you can go and buy some. And it is the Moda, it's the um, Bella line. You've got Bella, Bella, Marble, and Grunge. And it's not all the colors, but it's a decent amount. <gasps> oh my gosh. Thanks, Usa. See, they keep me, yes. Okay, you guys are right. We need another giveaway. I'm sorry. All right, let me set it up. Let me set it up. I'm sorry. All right, I may just do all the binding tomorrow then. All right, it is active. It is good to go. Six. Subscribers get six entries. I've got it. Okay. All right. Emotes, talking, everything all in the chat. Spoons. Yes. Those squids are cool. I can't believe. Thanks, Usa. Thank you. I can't believe I forgot. I did say two giveaways, didn't I? <sighs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Let me text the husband really quickly. See, 
See, and I'm so scatterbrained sometimes. Some scatterbrained sometimes. This is why I need people. This is why I need minions. <laughs> because they keep me in line. They make sure I do what I'm supposed to do. What's the lazy soy? <gasps> Sporks! Oh, not spoons? Because you're that awesome. That is awesome. I'm looking at all the I'm looking at all of the emotes. I love watching emotes going by. So, and I, again, I'm waiting a few more minutes. So, if you want to do a sub to get in there to get extra chances to win, now's your chance. Because subs get six tickets into drawings. Everyone else, you get one. So you get five extra tickets. Right, let me clean this. I'm going to clean this off. So yeah, so tomorrow's stream will be binding. I'll bind everything tomorrow's, on tomorrow's stream. And then if I finish the binding, I'll work on Maleficent a little bit. And then Tuesday, I'm going to get the t-shirt quilt done. So I will get that finished. Oh yeah, I gotta change that, you're right. There you go. And look, and I figured out, oh, I can put the mice under here and protect them so they don't go everywhere so I can actually make the changes between the cats and the dogs. So the sub goal, now go back to zero. No, no, I'll just leave it to the end of the stream because if we get 10 more, then I will, um, then I'll do another giveaway. If it goes six or seven, well, then I'll I'll change it to one or two. So at the end of the stream, I'll adjust that one. Okay. Hey, well, Stroll's in now. All right, let me go through and read off everyone that is in. Ready? We've got Bootleg Phil. Euphonium Hero, False Ragnarok, Flying Pink Monkey, Frosty the Snow Girl, Gousseau, Jesse, Junie, Lazy Soy, Q, QC Loco, Sweva Blounce, Usa, and Welsh Troll. And Rampillion's in. Good morning, Rampillion. You're just in time for a giveaway. We hit the follower goal giveaway. We hit the sub goal for giveaways. So if I did not say your name, you must say something in chat. And... You must be a follower. If you do not follow me and you win, I will re-roll it. So you've got to be a follower in order to win. You've got to say something in chat, either an emote, talking, something, um, loud noises, yes, anything at all. And hi, Psyduck, how are you today? You are in the giveaway. Um, remember, you've got to be a follower. So if you don't follow, you've got to hit that follow button if you want to win. What do you win for people that are popping in early? You can win your choice of a Quiltoni quilt pattern. You only have to use a sewing machine in order to make my patterns. Uh, I explain everything else. You don't, never have to make a quilt before and you can win. You can also win a bag of scraps, a custom made dice bag, or five pixels. Pixels are what subs use to get a quilt or custom throw pillow, custom pillow cover, custom you know pillow case for your bed. Um, if you, hey, QC Loco, thanks for the follow. And Psydic, thanks for the follow. Thank you very, very much, guys. I appreciate that. So if we get three more follows, you get another giveaway. You can also get the pixel. So if you are a sub or you're thinking of subbing, you can get the pixel. So it's five pixels. Um, yeah, because if you're not eventually going to sub, the pixels are probably useless because you're never you're not going to get enough to get a quilt. But if you are a sub, it's a it's a good way to get closer to that quilt goal. So those are your options for the winner. So I'm gonna run down one more time and then we are going to pick it. I've got <gasps> we got another sub, Sidic or Sidic. Is it Sidic or Sidic? Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Yay! Okay, so let me add you on to my spreadsheet. S I D D I C. You now have 10 pixels. 
with that five dollar sub that tier one sub and i will add it to so siddick got it and let me add you to my board so i can easily look over and see without looking at the spreadsheet fantastic and i've got that treats Who wants a treat? And the doggies get treats. So you now get that Clarington. You're just in time. We're getting ready to do a giveaway. Treats. Come on, let's go. Let's get treats. Let's get treats. I like how she like goes racing and jumps into the bag. Racing and racing and racing. Racing, racing, racing. All right, come here, Alfred. Over here, Alfred. No, into the bed, baby. I know. There's Alfred and Marley Sunday. Yay! And off they go. I think my husband's making lunch because they just raced back up the steps. <laughs> oh, the bot didn't like the name? That's weird. That is so weird. If, if you want me to put, get, put a dog treat in, sure. That's fine. I can do that. Um, so yeah, so Siddick, you are now getting pixels. So if you want to save that towards a quilt and you get the awesome sewing machine. So thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it so, so much. Okay, so I'm gonna run down the list one last time. Hey, Bootlegville. All right, so we've got, ready. Here's the list now that are in this giveaway. We've got Azalita. Hey, Azalita, I didn't even see you pop in. How are you? Bootlegville, Clarington, Cyanin. Cyanin, yeah, Digadilly, Euphonium, False Ragnarok, Monkey, Frosty the Snow Girl, Gousseau, Hannah, Jesse, Junie, Leslie, Leslie Soy, QC, Loco, Siddick, Svava Blount, Usa, and Welsh Troll. Whenever you hear me pausing, that's because I am taking out the bots. Because we don't want the bots to win. Um, okay, subs. You get six tickets. Everyone else gets one. Ready? This is the drum roll. Cyanin. 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 Yes, Cyanin. I like that. Okay, roll it and... Oh my god. <sighs> Gusto won again. Guso hasn't won any of the giveaways. Gasu. Why am I saying Gasu? Gasu. I know it's Gasu. Gasu has never won any of the giveaways, and then you win two in a row. And this is why I have Stream Elements do it for me. So there is no cheating on anyone's part. <laughs> so, Gasu, do you want five more pixels, or do you actually want something? Do you want scraps or a pattern or a dice bag? Pixels again, please. All right, so, Gasu. Hey, guys, we're at 36. Four more people watching, and you get another giveaway. So, and I am almost to the end of the stream, too. So, Gasu is getting six. No, you are getting 20 pixels now. So, Gasu now has 20 pixels. So, am I lying? <gasps> yeah, eight ball thinks I'm lying. That is so funny. Okay. Gasu now has 20 pixels. Fantastic. Back later. Thanks, Azlita. In fact, Azlita, I am stopping soon. So thank you so much for popping in. I super, super appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, you broke. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, so we're not going to ringette, but I got to stop soon. Last night, yes. See, because I've been, I started streaming at 9 a.m. this morning. That's why I had to leave last night because I was streaming this morning. 
So yes, no, and I'm almost done with the stream. It was an early morning stream. So tomorrow, so Monday, Tuesday are gonna be evening streams. Um, I am gonna be doing binding and the t-shirt quilt if I get to it tomorrow. And then Tuesday, yeah, seed streaming for three hours. Um, Tuesday, I'm gonna be doing t-shirt quilt. No, no, tomorrow I'm gonna be doing binding and uh, Maleficent. And then Tuesday, I'm gonna be doing t-shirt quilt and Maleficent. And then, I don't know what I'm doing Wednesday, Thursday yet. I may start piecing another quilt. I may do Maleficent. I don't know! It's craziness. Craziness. Uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna take a break from Maleficent. I'm thinking I'm going to pattern out the next quilt pattern. We all know what that is! He's a very special man in all of our hearts. So, yeah. I think. Oh, I want to. See, I'm so torn. I'm like, I want to keep going, but I'm hungry. And I have things I have to do before we go have Christmas with my husband's family. And it's. Okay, let's bind one quilt. Okay, I'm going to bind a quilt. We're going to stick around for another 15, 20 minutes. Let's put binding on a quilt. So first, when I put binding on a quilt, I have the cheater way. Cheater way is binding that's already made. First thing I have to do though, is I do have to, because I am doing the fold and tuck method of binding, which is another cheater way because it's super fast and super nice. Um, no, it's not the creator of Taco Bell. Uh, so what I'm doing over on the iron is I'm just taking this and I'm folding over a little bit right here and ironing it in place. Is the binding different from Nora bias? Bi no, it's not. It's a single fold bias binding. So a lot of the binding, the, uh, the, bind the bias that you use for clothing and for other stuff is a double fold. This is a single fold. That is the only difference. So you can buy it by the roll. You can do everything else. <gasps> Svava blouse. Wait, what? Svava, you guys are gonna break me again. Seriously. Wait, let me look at Saint Jude. Holy crap, Svava blouse. That's two hundred dollars for Saint Jude's. Oh my god. Like, I'm gonna start crying. Okay, like, seriously, Svava Blount just gave $200 to St. Jude's. That is, that is amazing. So that is, that's 40 tickets to win the, the charity quilt. That, oh my God, you guys, serious. Okay, let me add this in. Oh, okay, I'm seriously crying now. Oh, okay, so. Treats! <laughs> Smell is making me cry, Junie. Oh my god. Okay, so it's Fava Blount. Did, yeah, we see, seriously, like all of the love. Lo so everyone, everyone do the um, command love for Slava Blount because, yeah, and it puts, oh my god. Seriously. Okay, so it's save. I can't believe you. J oh. 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 Okay. I'm crying. I'm seriously, now I gotta scroll up and look at everything. Because you guys broke me. Oh my god. Oh. See. Okay. Treats. Treat time. Treats, Junie. Treats. Oh. Alright, come here. Over here. And thank you. Thank you so much for the love. So, no, it's because I am raising money for St. Jude. So all donations you give me go right to St. Jude. So thank you guys so, so much. <sighs> I know, I know. Wait, it's love and then Svava. And then I'll say I love you. I love you. Wait, the love isn't working. Why isn't the love working? Oh, because I have a five second timer and it's going all over the place. But that's okay. I gotta take that timer off. You broke Twitch. Yeah, you guys broke me and you broke Twitch. 
Oh my god. Okay. Alright, I'm making binding. I'm making binding. There it is. See, it works. I'm making binding. Okay, binding. So, fold over and iron. Why is this steam not working? There we go. And then I'm going to fold it in half and iron it again. Seriously, like all the love, because, you know, do it for the kids. Because, yeah. I think, I, I seriously think, I haven't even done my charity stream yet. I, we're definitely going to hit that 500 goal. I'm so excited now. I'm so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that donation. Okay. Oh, my guys, I got to do all this stuff. Well, maybe I'm not going to do binding today because I have to change all my things on my machine. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to stop because I said I had to stop at 12. Okay, we have collected. We have collected. Do, 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 do. Let me go to my St. Jude's. Close donations. We now have raised $305 for St. Jude's. $305. If you would like to bookmark the St. Jude's page so you can see how much we are raising, here is my page for my fundraising page for St. Jude's. If you want to see the whole thing now, I know I have to stop. I have to stop. I will see you guys all later, Jesse. Thank you so much. No, because I have to, because I've got Christmas with my husband's family. I know, I got the apron, at least, I know, I'm gonna get an apron, and then we're gonna, yes, thank you, oh my god, I'm gonna, like, seriously, yeah, just the love, the love is amazing, <sighs> okay, let me go through, I've got, I'm just looking through the things, I know, guys, I, all the love, I mean, seriously, okay, so I've, it's gonna take me too long to change all the things on my machine to go to the binding, and I do have to stop streaming soon. What day is it? No, no, it's not today for the drawing. The drawing is not going to be until I do my charity stream. So charity stream, I'm going to take a quilt, start to finish, all in one stream. I will do all sorts of hype, announcements, everything else. So you still have time to donate to St. Jude's in order to win that quilt. And I, I'm going to put a, um, a poll up um, that I'm going to you know basically have it up there for a permanent thing so you guys can vote on which quilt I'm going to do when I determine what day I'm doing it so I still have to look at my calendar I will have a date for you tomorrow for when I'm going to be doing that charity stream um uh, so you can put it in your calendars make sure you're there um and then you can win the quilt if you donate to St. Jude's so thank you I know I know you guys love broken Tony oh uh, so broken, Tony. Like, seriously, I can't... Yeah. I love you guys. I love you so much. Oh, okay. Came in to see the free motion and got a bonus broken, Tony. <laughs> Thank you, False Ragnarok. Like, and False Ragnarok also donated to the St. Jude's, and it's... Yeah. Look at that 200 in there. That's... Oh, my God. See, like, that's, that's amazing. I love you guys so much. I love you so much. See, and there it is. There's the raise money for St. Jude's. The Nightbot is telling us. Okay, let's go raid someone. Let's go. Let's end this in style. Who, so, who do we want to raid today? Who do we want to raid? We've got... I know, let's really break her. Oh my god, if you, if you, no, no, I would like ball, like open ball cry, because, yeah. Um, all right, in creating, we've got Lutheran. Oh, no, no, Christmas with the family is today, because we've got, um, um, Oh, it's um, Christmas with my, my husband's family. It's a day that everyone can get together and do their Christmas. So it's my husband's side of the family that does it, and they picked it today. So that's why I've got to go do Christmas today. So, yeah, today's the third. It's nowhere near Christmas, but it's, yeah, that's what it is. So we've got, um, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I love you guys so much. All right, so I, I can't stop smiling and tearing and, yeah. 
That's like so, you broke me so much. Okay, so we've got Lutheran. We can raid. Lutheran is doing spinning. Ooh, she's spinning. She's spinning her own yarn. Um, we've got... No, not until, I'm not going to go until the 27th. I'm going to drive down on the 26th to do Christmas stuff with my family. So that's not until after Christmas. We're doing that. Um, and then we've got Fairy Wings is IRL. What's she doing right now? Is she just doing her talk, her talky talk? Yep, she's walking. She's walking around. She's wearing a Santa hat. So we can do, I think those, those are the two options that I want to do. So we've got Lutheran and we've got Fairy Wings. Sings. He's, <gasps> Treats! Thank you, False Ragnarok! Treats! Here, here they come! Here they come! Treats! Oh, and I've got to put the doggy cam on. Hold on. I'll change that back. Cat cam. Come on, Alfred! Treats! Come on! Come on, guys! There and there and there! Thank you! Thanks for the bits! Okay, so, um, yeah, I know, to drag the feels out. Thanks, guys. Thank you. <laughs> So, do we want to go raid Fairy or do we want to go raid Lutheran? So, Fairy Wings is IRL with a really cute Santa hat on, walking around talking to everyone, and Lutheran is spinning yarn. They're both amazing, wonderful women, and I love them, and I have not raided either one. So, you guys. I have. Oh, you have Gobstoppers. I love Gobstoppers, they're my favorite! Okay, so I'm going to put up a quick, quick. What is it? Where is it? Where is it? Pauls and giveaways. So we're going to do... Oh, you know what? Just tell me in chat. So you went spinning yarn? Spinning yarn? Spinning yarn? It is very crafty. And I love fairy wings, but yeah, spinning yarn. Spinny, spinny, spin. I spin you right round, baby, right round. Okay. You want to do the fairy in? Okay. So if you haven't raided with me before, here's how it works. We are going to go raid Lutheran, who is a spinner. She is spinning yarn. I want you to, whenever the little raid thing pops up, click on the raid thingy. You are going to, where is the, there, in, there. There's my raid. I feel like I have to vote for my future self for Fairy, who is apparently, yes, seriously, we learned that last night. So Rampalian is Fairy in the past. So Fairy is future Rampalian. But we're going to go do blah, blah, blah. We will do fairy one day. When next time, I, if, I will be doing fairy. Um, so I want you to copy that. You're going to paste that a bunch of times. If you are a sub, please put in a bunch of sewing machines because sewing machines. Um, and whenever we go over to her channel, paste that a whole bunch of times. Give her lots of love. And I'm going to do the raid L U T. H V A R I A N. Okay, click that thing on the top. My record is 12. Let's see if we can beat it. We're gonna go, and it's gonna automatically take you over to her channel. And I want you to give her all the love. Give her all the love, all the support, all the rating. Follow her. Let's let's show support for other creatives and other love. I love you guys. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for the bits, and I'm gonna start crying. You're, you've broken me again. Thank you guys. It's, I, I, this is this is the good broken. This is the good, overwhelmed, broken. You gotta click at it. Live from the morgue. You're the best too. It's your package is being mailed tomorrow. I love you guys. It is. Yeah. Okay. Let's go give her love. Let's give her love. <laughs> 